on to race three then in the reverse grid and uh, we all know what that means absolute carnage and <coughs> got fast guys trying to get through to the back from the back to the front with the slower guys trying to hold on for the positions so called slower guys and the grid is uh, well Brian from Leon Andrew Rob uh, then we have Nick Coleman Ash Lewis uh, Alex Chris Liam then it's Ben and uh, obviously then we got Kevin, Nathan and Sean and Sean with the returning Adam at the back. So Adam's made it back for this race, which means we lose Will. So thanks to Will for his effort. But this race is about to get going. Brian's on pole, but will he stay there for how long? And we're away. It looked like a great start from one of the Mustangs. That looks like Coleman. He's firing through the middle, but it's been blocked off by one of the BMWs in a bit of contact already. Why not? And off we go into this perilous journey of 13 laps and Leon swept around the outside in a great move to take the lead good move from Leon and they're all bunched up, they're all quite like three abreast or so and they're into this corner and Ben's been hit from one of the BMWs and it's been turned around as well, Nathan sideways, Ben into Ash and then there's another car involved and chaos already and, and Ash is off and then, and then it looks like uh, Chris was sideways there in the midfield, but he's gathered it all back so here we go already down into the hairpin and this is going to be chaos as well surely bit of bumping and boring in the midfield but no they all got around there okay oops sideways from Alex Ben now trying to work a work an angle he's trying to go around the outside of Liam that's a brave man doing that but he's done it and it's Leon with a massive lead already Leon's gone and uh, next second with his teammate Rob behind Andrew is in fourth and the other uh, BXR Lexus with Kevin up in fifth well placed and the f at the uh, top guys Ben's already up to uh, well Kevin's up to fifth and then Ben's up to about ninth I think and Nathan just a couple of places behind that but Sean not with the greatest start either but Rob overtakes his teammate and he'll set off after Leon now Kevin in fourth and oh Andrew's been hit Andrew's obviously gone in too deep into the first corner or something along those lines and uh, missing out there on a decent p position I would have thought at the end of that race if he could have held on this is teammate that's dominating things at the moment Leon's leading this race and he's finally got around lap one without any dramas but he's got Rob closing him down as already Rob's on a mission he's left his teammate Kevin's in fourth fifth is Lewis at the moment it was sideways Ash or oh, Adam was that Adam already so Adam from the back is sick so he's gained ten places incredible start from him Ben up the inside of uh, yep Chris making that stick and moving up to 7th place but Leon still leads this in the Lexus feeling the need to cover already and 251 car leads the 14 then it's the 54 so looking good for the works BMWs right now Lewis 5th Adam 6th Ben's defending 7th from the the dragster is an eighth and wide from Ben as he tries to hold the position Nathan tagging the back of Liam there a little bit but I think they're gonna stay as they were Ben just turns in in front of the Mustang Liam's there as well Sean's now recovering after a uh, well steady start and someone was off there and that was Adam Adams ran wide will he lose positions nope the rest weren't close enough into the hairpin and a bit more paint swapping going on as uh, Kevin tries to get past the, the BMW sideways there from Alex who's uh, a bit far back for him L Lewis though getting back at Kevin and he's going back up the inside it looks like he's got it he's pushed Kevin out a bit they're in the wall but uh, looks like Lewis is going to take the position Ben has got past uh, Adam as well so that's uh, him up to sixth just trying to keep track of everyone here it's changing all the time but it is Leon that still leads after four laps so well done Leon Rob though close, closing in very quickly now to try and take this win away and really wide there was Chris I believe and it was Chris he's dropped down to 11th place just in front of the second Lexus and Nick now defending for his life and probably trying to help his teammate a little bit Lewis trying to go around the outside but he'd be brave to do that. Kevin's the one that's going to get forced out here. And he has out onto the grass. 
like we've seen before, two cars through there is not working out. And he's lost positions to Ben. And maybe even Adam, because Adam was looking like he was going to go down the inside. But the battle for the lead is, binched, is uh, joined. Kevin out wide again. So after a good start from Kevin, he's just starting to drop back. Ben trying to go around the outside of Nick. Might just get that done. Bit of contact and a bit more contact as they're trying to force each other off. And a car off in the back. And again, it looked like Ash. He was sideways. <coughs> well, Nick retakes the position. Pushes Ben out a little bit. And Ben instantly moves to the bottom of the racetrack to try and defend from Lewis. But Leon still leads lap five. And he's got a little bit of a gap there on Rob. Nick, though, with Ben all over him. Ben thinking about the outside, that's going to be a bit of a brave one, Nick will always try and force him out, and he does, gives him a little shove, and that's going to put Lewis in the equation, Lewis just going to tag the back of the uh, BMW and try and force a way through on both of them, but no, Ben manages to hold her on around the outside, now Lewis is on the outside, and we've seen this before, and yep, he gets forced out, onto the grass, into the barrier, comes back on, loses two positions, Look back to see what's happening back here. Oh, and a spin from Leon. Leon spun out the lead. Poor Leon. He's done it again. He's dropped it. And that's going to put him down to about 10th, 11th place, I would say, the time he gets going. And 11th, 12th comes through Ash. 13th now Alex as well. So disaster for Leon. He was doing so well. Led four and a half laps of this race and looked comfortable. But the BMW, momentary BMW 1 2 has been broken up by Ben, who's coming through on on uh, Nick, a bit of contact and here comes Sean with a double slipstream in the REC car and it looks like he's going to get down the inside of both of them as they're free wide already we're halfway through this race and it doesn't feel like we started, it's crazy Nathan's there though and a dive bomb there from one of the uh, Toyotas was Adam and Adam's through on Nathan that Toyota's so good at turn one and uh, whoa, contact there, Ben's moved across on Nick, not, not even realising he's there, Nick's Paid the favour back through him in the wall. Bends sideways again for the second time in this race. And into the side of uh, Chris there. So, well, Ben for challenging from second place is down to ninth. Disaster for him, but he's still, a well, he's still in touch with his teammate. He's got Liam down the inside. And now he's a, his teammate's gone wide and he's passed his teammate. And a sideways BMW and that's uh, Nick off into the wall. So his desperate attempts to stay in second place have now ended. And, uh, well, most pe most of the guys there will be quite glad of that. <laughs> Nick was uh, defending like he was a battleship. And Ben now and Ben and Lewis have come together. Lewis in the wall. And that's hurt his teammate as well. His teammates rammed him up the back. Again, they're both trying to go side by side through that last corner. Rob leads, though, and he's got a f massive lead. And he's got this in the bag if he can just keep the car on the track. And that would be his first win, I believe, in SBR. Second, though, is Sean. Third Adam, Kevin's back up there in fourth, so it's like a it's like a roulette machine. They're up and down all the time. And place your bets on Rob winning, and I don't think you get very good odds of that because he is massively in front after all the battling. Sean's second in BMW 1 2, and he's in the RAC car. Three and four are on the grass. That's Adam and Kevin. That's allowed Chris now alongside both of them. Chris dives through into the hairpin. And he will take the place Ben up the inside of Kevin as well at the same time. He's got that done. And he's passed Rob. Uh, sorry, Chris. And now he's thinking about the outside of on the Toyota. And that's brave. He's going around the outside of Adam. And he takes the position. So three cars and two corners for Ben. Up into third place. He was ninth a lap ago. And that's, that's just the craziness of BTCC. Kevin, who was looking at third a lap ago, is down to seventh. So... There's no point really going through the order because it's changing all the time. One thing's for sure though, Rob is going to probably win this race. There's only five laps to go. He is being caught by Sean but not fast enough. Three, four wide coming into the first corner. Can the Toyota swoop around the outside on the Subaru? No. But he might get the inside at the next corner. Adam with a tight line, pulls it tight with the Toyota, turns really well. And he might have that done. No, Ben swoops around the outside. Kevin's off again, down to 8th place and just ahead of Lewis, can Lewis get the run out of that corner, no he cannot, 
Now Nathan's got the problem of trying to overtake that Mustang of Chris. He knows how to drive it and a hit up the back there from Ash and Ash takes the position. Although Nathan's fighting back at the next corner, uses the Subaru's grip down the inside and takes position. He even might even get a look at the uh, Mustang of Chris. Uh, nope, they all stay as they were. Although Kevin's under pressure there from Lewis. Leon's back to 10th though, so Leon's not giving up. He's probably a bit angry with himself. He's probably wiped away the tears with his beard and he's back in the race and fighting again. Chris using the power again, as, as we always say. Not able to get the job done. As we know, the toilet strength is turn one under breaking and cornering. Nathan fighting away, still not got through this pack. Like we say, we always say this, and Nathan, is, he's got a weakness. It's coming through the pack in this, the uh, reverse races. Sean's done it. Ben's done it. And now it's down to him to do it as well. Good defending there from Adam as he tries to hold on to his position. But around the outside goes Chris. Audacious overtake, and he does it. Nathan's looking to follow him through. And he has. So Adam's gone down two positions. Nathan now with an inside run on uh, Chris so whatever I said forget it because Nathan's through and he now he's got to try and def <laughs> defend for the Mustang on the uh, drag strip down to turn one <coughs> Adam's making it easier by going around the outside and stopping Chris getting slipstream off the Subaru but the uh, Mustang still got the pace to pull back in and t take position and Adam Nathan's very aware of it because he's moving straight to the opposite side wherever the Mustang is and still the Mustang has a run at him. Incredible power from that car. But Nathan does take fourth place now. We're trying to use this lap to break away. He just simply cannot take his racing lines because that Mustang's just all over him. And Ash comes through and gives Lewis a nudge but takes the position anyway. And he's following his teammate through Adam. Adam's wide though. Probably don't want to take that line although three of them did. But they all survive. Chris thought about it on Nathan but it wasn't going to happen and the two teammates are now knocking each other around and again they do it again and now they're turning each other around and Adam almost spun his own teammate there that would have gone well the insurance claim would have been a nightmare especially as the only third party firing theft, Kevin's wide and the picture on the side of his car tells the story, he's in total shock with that he's down to 10th place so another one that's got to learn these reverse grids they're just literally brutal well, it looks like Nathan's just starting to edge away from this group and it's all got a bit strung out now. It's like a scene out of Rambo halfway through this race, but... Yep, they're all starting to calm down now and stretch out. Nathan still feels the need to defend from that Mustang, though. And Kevin already trying to repair the damage up to ninth ahead of Leon. Nathan's lost two positions so it's obviously Chris is out of go. Chris now in the wall and in the background is Lewis doing exactly the same thing. The corner is pretty treacherous. Now they're full wide into the hairpin and that's not going to work so we're going to have to sort this out boys but Nathan's taking it. Chris goes drifting and loses two places to the Toyotas does he? Nope. He's lost one to Nathan. He's lost one to Adam and now Ash down the inside again. Ash is really feisty in this race and Kevin McAllister's dropping back down to 11th The Hyundai's coming on strong late on. Liam's up to 10th now. Liam's not been that. Well, normally you see Liam fighting at the front. He's just not been at the races tonight, whether it's the car or him, I don't, I'm not really sure. Nathan 4th, Adam 5th. There is Ash in 6th, doing a great job. And Leon doing well to recover from 9th. Remember, he spun out the lead. Sorry, Leon, didn't mean to remind you. And Chris White again, just struggling to get that Mustang to stay on the line. And that's allowed Lewis through. Chris won't give up a flash of the lights just to tell him that. And Leon fighting with Liam and Liam. Leon, Liam. How the hell am I supposed to say that together? So those two are together. There we go. And Liam's going to think about the inside. Leon's c clever to that though in tries to cover it but he's gone too deep 
Maybe looking in his mirror too much, and that's allowed Liam back through ahead of Leon. <sighs> Easy. Christo still holding off Liam. And Lewis is looking like the one that's going to move forward for the Hyundai's. Nathan has now broken away from that a little bit. And there's Rob starting his last lap, and what a great drive from Rob. Helped by his teammate, no doubt, Nick. Holding up the group a little bit, defending for his life, but Rob's had good pace. Sean's not been able to get there, and Ben's not able to get anywhere near Sean, so that looks like the top three locked out. Fourth is not done, though. Adam's coming back at Nathan. Ooh, what's this all about? And that's uh, Alex trying to get past Andrew. Again, the Lexus is pretty good on the straight, even though it's had a power decrease. He'll funnel through. Kevin looking to repair any of the damage that has been causing this race, but there isn't much left of his Mazda, and he's going to have to try and get some of it past the car in front. Ash doing the race, another great race. Although that's about to go sour, is it? He's been overtaken by. I think it's one of the Hondas. It is. It's, it's uh, Lewis. Liam's got his own problems, and Ash retakes the position. Take that. Pushes Lewis off, and Lewis is spun in the middle of the pack. Cars everywhere. He's facing the wrong way. That's not helpful. And in all that, Leon's managed to get through. But the winner is Rob, and congratulations to him on his first SBR BTCC win. Second is Sean. Third is Ben. So a great night for him. Fourth. Nathan holds off Adam for fifth. Or well, Adam's fifth. Sixth is Ash. He's happy with that. Seventh was Liam. And then the rest are all coming through too fast. But we'll cover it anyway. Eleventh is Lewis. Twelfth is uh, Alex. Coleman comes across for fourteenth. Fifteenth for Nick. So sacrificed himself for the team. But it worked. His teammates won the race. Brian again. No points unfortunately for him. Let's go through the results though. And it was Rob from Sean, Ben, Nathan, Adam, Ash, Li Liam 7th, 8th for Kevin, 9th for Leon, 10th was Chris in the very wide Mustang, 11th for Lewis after that spin late on, and 12th for Alex, fastest lap went to Nathan. And then uh, it was 13th for Andrew, 14th for Coleman, 15th for Nick, and again 16th for Brian unfortunately for him. So now let's go through the points after those three races and uh, not much change at the top. Nathan will still lead the way, but he's only nine points ahead of his teammate Ben. Then it's Sean, then it's Lewis, and is ahead of his teammate, which would be a surprise to him. Kevin was is sixth after a fairly good night. Seventh for Adam, despite not doing the first two races. And eighth for Rob, aided by that win. And uh, Sean's brought himself into contention there. Ninth is uh, Chris, then it's Ash, uh, Jeff who didn't no show tonight, uh, Nick, uh, then Andrew, Leon, and their little private battle. Coleman scores ten points, and then Brian in sixteenth. So for the teams, Subaru now running away with it. Two five five, Hyundai one seven three, BMW REC one three six, Toyota one three four, Works BMW ninety two. Mazda 85, Ford 70 and Lexus at the back with 37. So that's normally the end of it but awesome news that Jake Hill has joined SBR BTCC Legends for the final two rounds. Um, something that means Sean managed to get together and get, get sorted and very proud of it as well. And Jake will join Chris Clements in the Mustang like I say for the last two rounds and uh, what a gentleman to do that. He's been nothing but awesome as we talked about it. And there's the cars designed by Ashley. And they look pretty cool if you ask me. Obviously Jacob will be in the Udall car. And um, the HP car will be uh, Chris as we've mentioned. So fantastic and really looking forward to next week for that. And next week will be uh, three more intense races. And I hope you enjoyed tonight.